to the start of a new weekly vlog. It's Wednesday again and I'm just about to make some lunch. I am just so obsessed with Brussels sprouts. Like if they were in season all year, I would eat them all year. They are my faves. So I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts for lunch. <laughs> What a random lunch. Might put an egg in there. We've got some broccoli that needs using up and some red onion that needs using up. So I'm just going to throw together a mishmash of a lunch and it's going to be delicious. And I thought I'd vlog it to inspire you guys to like, I don't know, use up stuff in your cupboard. Yeah, I could totally just pop out now and get some like bread and stuff to make a sandwich. But I've got this delicious vegetable, so I might as well use it all. Did I ever talk about our pan that we got for Christmas? This was like our main Christmas present from G's parents. And it's a hex clad pan, which are so expensive. Like I couldn't believe the price of this, but it's one of my new favorite kitchen tools. It is the best frying pan. Like you can tell that the money is absolutely worth it. And hopefully it will last a really long time, but I don't know how it works, but it like cooks really evenly and it doesn't burn stuff. And it's just the best, it's just the best frying pan. I love it a lot. So I've shredded some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, some onion, and some garlic. And I'm just gonna fry this up. Every morning when they hand me the call sheet, my eyes scan the page for my Here's my lunch. All of that on toast. I've got a boiled egg, which I think I've slightly underboiled. And I've also made a bit of a dressing, which doesn't look that appetizing. It's tahini, maple syrup, and a bit of lime juice. So I might just dunk maybe the toast in that. I am going to a bar opening tonight. There's a new bar called Hedden, H-D-N, without the vowels. Um, and it's one of Gordon Ramsay's new bars opening on Hedden Street. And I'm going along to G. I think there'll be cocktails, there'll be hopefully some nibbles. But yeah, I'm excited about it. I need to like roll all this hair off. But first I need to feed Maurice. Do you want some tuna? He's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, it's just like spring. It's like nearly here, but it's not. It's still so cold. It's like nine degrees today. I'm just so looking forward to it being a bit warmer and being able to go out without a big coat on. Speaking of warmer weather, we booked a holiday this week, earlier this week. We're going to Greece. So if anyone has been to Paxos in Greece, let me know if you've got any recommendations. Oh, I'm just so excited to go for some sun. I'm going to take my snorkel and maybe we'll do like a boat trip one day. Oh, here he is. He's heard me doing his tuna. Our honeymoon in the Maldives just really gave me a love of snorkeling and I'm so excited to do it again. And I know that like coral will be very hard to find in Greece, <laughs> if there at all, but there should still hopefully be some fish around. <laughs> Come on, maybe with some tuna. I know it's really bad to feed your cat with a spoon, but I just love it. Here you go. You good boy. You're sleepy because you've just woken up. Come on then, I'll put the rest over here. Quickly show you what I'm wearing. Um, and I need to check the weather app to see if it's gonna rain. Hmm, apparently not, okay. So I'm wearing this high neck kind of frilly bodysuit t-shirt. I love it, it's kind of, kind of ribbed as well. And then I'm wearing my maxi skirt that I got from H&M last year. It's got a little slit at the bottom, don't know if you can see that. Like so, and then I've teamed it with my boots. My comfy boots. Um, so yeah, quite simple, all in black. And I thought I'd add a little black accessory as well. So I've got my headband on and a black bag as well, which I've been taking around all week because it fits my knitting in. obsessed with this. <laughs> I love it. We've just left, babe. What's your verdict on Hidden? It's cool. Very nice cocktails. The cocktails are so good. Like 
Normally I'm quite fussy with cocktails, but there wasn't one that I didn't really like. Saying that, I don't know how much they were. Great, great nibbles. Great nibbles, yeah, oh my God. The bow. Can you see that? There's little kids. <laughs> And the chicken bow, oh my god, was so good. And I also liked the chicken popcorn. No. The chicken bow was good. No, the chicken popcorn. Popcorn no, on uh, a bow. Lollipop. But chicken, chicken lollipop was great. But again, don't know how much that was. So um, it could be quite expensive. But my favourite cocktails was the. <laughs> <laughs> Chili picante. Uh, mango. Mango picante. <laughs> picante. Yeah. And wait, what was With the first one on I had? Um, oh, it was a smoky one. It's like, it's like a tequila based. Tequila based smoky cocktail, which is the <laughs> most um, elaborate one, which I really recommend. We're just walking down Regent Street to get the train home. Fun then. So gorgeous, how lucky are we to live in such a spectacular town that is so Instagrammable. <laughs> We've come into Hamleys because we're a bit drunk. I don't think I've ever been into Hamleys. <laughs> should we get Jeannie something? Yeah, should we get her a Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's petrifying. I think she'll appreciate I think she would really appreciate one of them. <laughs> is there any cats? Is it soft? What is it? Oh, I've never been in here before. <gasps> this is this one. The one with the baby. Oh my God, guys, I've got slow Loris. Maurice would love this guy. <laughs> Little one. Look at me go. There you go. I'm a bit drunk. Away, the bar on its tip. Don't you think you're going, baby? Babe, I just like you. Should we get it for Maurice? How easy is it? <laughs> hey guys, so today is Saturday um, and I have really randomly decided to book onto a pole class. I think I've spoken about the fact before that I use class pass to like go to the gym with and class pass is fab because it this is not an ad, I've never worked with ClassPass, but you basically get credit each, mo each month that you can like spend at whatever gym doing whatever classes around the UK and I think even abroad. I feel like if you go on holiday there might be some ClassPass like gyms around it as well. I use ClassPass to do like my handstand classes and my reformer pilates classes which I actually haven't done in a while. But we've kind of got a free morning on this bank holiday Saturday morning and so a couple of days ago I had a look at if I could find any pole classes near me because I just love pole strength it is so good at getting you and keeping you strong and it looks freaking so sexy and so cool and I have done a lot of pole before I used to go to a place in Bethnal Green called Exotica Pole Dance really recommend that place their classes were so fantastic and like you went away having learned a nice sequence that you could do um but yeah i found a class i found a place near me well it's not really near me it's on the train in seven sisters and it's called Ex exotique dance class and i have signed up for a flexibility for pole class so it's an hour flexibility making beautiful shapes on and off the pole all levels and non-pole dancers welcome so there is a class before this which is like a beginner's pole class but i decided to go for the flexibility one because i thought it'd just be something a little bit different but i'm looking forward to it if any of you guys watch this and decide to sign up for a pole class i'll just give you a tip 
and that tip is to wear shorts to your classes because I didn't know that and when I turned up to my first pole class like gosh it must have been like six years ago no way longer than that like eight years ago um I was wearing leggings and you need the skin on your legs to like to grip on the pole so I had to like roll my leggings up to my thighs and it was so uncomfortable it would have been better just to do it in my knickers so wear a pair of shorts so I have just got on, I've just got on some little shorts. I mean, ideally I'd like them a little bit longer. They don't have to be this cropped, but this is all I could find. Um, and a black t-shirt. I've also got a sports bra on underneath. So I am, yeah, already, I'm ready very early and really looking forward to getting out of the house. It seems like a beautiful day and moving my body. Hello team, it is bank holiday Monday and as you can see, I'm having a super chilled lazy day today. Um, we're having a breakfast for bank holiday Monday that we've been dreaming about for a good couple of months. And that is hot cross buns. We've got spiced apple hot cross buns from Waitrose. We're gonna be super dirty and we're gonna put a sausage and some bacon in it. So it's like a hot cross bun, sausage and bacon sandwich. With? With maple syrup. Mm. This is so dirty. Is it's like the one time, it's in the fridge. One time of the fridge. year. Yeah. Found this bacon with a great taste sticker on it. So I picked that up. Yesterday, on Easter Sunday, we went to Drum Sheds, which is the new like club live music venue that is in an old Ikea in Tottenham. We went with all of G's friends. I'm not feeling like drunk at all. It was basically, the timings were 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Because it was like an all day thing, I didn't get too drunk because kind of spaced drinks out. We ended up getting there around three and we left actually a bit early. But the reason we went is because Bonobo is playing and that is one of our favorite like musicians, DJs. But the, the sound at drum sheds wasn't the best. So we left a tiny bit early, got back home and I was in bed for like half 10 <laughs> doing some knitting. But I'm really looking forward to bank holiday Monday today. I've just bought the spare duvet down and put it on the sofa. I'm going to watch some maths. Oh, Maurice, you missed Tino. Yeah, I'm going to, I think today's the day that I complete Baldur's Gate 3, which is the video game I've been playing literally since, I want to say like October last year. It's been ages. It's been <laughs> so such long. a long time that I've been playing this game and I, I think I'm going to complete it today. I am also doing some knitting today because I can't remember if I spoke about this last week, but I've been accepted to test knit a jumper and I'm not going to be able to show it on any of my... <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Hey, fever. Oh no. I'm not going to be able to share the knit on until later in the year when the pattern gets released, but I have like a quite tight deadline to get it done by. Um, and I might potentially be away for a week in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I have a lot of knitting to get done this week. I've also just realized today is gonna to be a pretty food heavy because um, we're gonna do a, a little bit of a roast for dinner this evening, but we're gonna try and do a roast duck in the air fryer, like a whole roast duck. Um, we love doing a roast chicken in the air fryer. And the last time I spoke about that online, I had so many DMs asking how we did it. Um, I need to vlog that at some point because it's super easy. But we haven't done air fried duck before and it'll be a bit different <laughs> because the duck is huge. So I don't even know if it'll go in the air fryer. 
and also duck is a lot more fatty so i'm just worried about all the duck fat that will be coming out of it and how easy that will be to like discard throughout the cooking process oh yeah right ready i'm ready oh my god oh my god mm. Mm. that crispy bacon Oh my god, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm.